Hey, John Cristani here, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about smart goal setting. I'm gonna be talking about writing down your goals, how I do my goals in order to create a successful business. Now, for those of you who don't know, I've been able to create a $7 million a year business with zero employees all by myself. And the way I've been able to do that is being highly productive and being highly outcome driven. And I'm going in this video series to some of the major steps that I've taken to be able to do that. So watch along and let's have some fun. Okay, so SMART goal setting is this. SMART is an acronym. It stands for Specific, Measurable, Actionable, Relevant, and Time-Based. What does exactly that mean in practice, okay? Let me help you out with what this means. And I encourage you to play along and actually take out a piece of paper or you know, put up a notepad on your computer in another you know, tab or browser or whatever and write these things down. And feel free to pause the video as we go through things to actually put down your goals or refine them as I go through these different steps. So the first thing is specificity, meaning what does your goal look like? What does it feel like? What does it taste like? What does it smell like? What does it sound like? Get every single sense in your goal. If you wanna be living in a big mansion, right? Don't just say big mansion. Think about what that house looks like. It's at the top of a hill in Malibu. You're overlooking rolling hills. There's a slight scent of sea breeze in the air. You have a lawn and a helipad off to the right. You have a marble enclosed shower with a 12 foot glass floor to ceiling view of the outside from your bathroom. You're wearing no shoes. You're looking out onto oak trees. Whatever that is, okay, get down to the very specific level. Who is around you? Who's with you? at this level of your goal. I have a wife and five kids. Two of them are out at sports practice. One of them is sleeping. Two of them are hanging around the house playing video games or something, I don't know. But the point being, get down to the extreme level of specificity, extreme level, every sense. How much is in your bank account? What do you drive? Do you own multiple cars? Maybe you live in a different country. What are your relationships with key people like? How many friends do you have? Maybe how many followers you have on social media? Are you checking email each day? How many times are you going on social media? You know, are you spending your whole day playing video games? Whatever your dream is, that's fun. But get extremely specific. Every single sense should be included in this level of specificity. Feel free to write some of that down right now. Now, the next level of goal setting is M, which stands for measurable. Particularly in business, you need your goals to be measurable. Now, I've used the rough rule of thumb. You know, I'm not there yet, but I'm getting very close. Six million dollars in retirement accounts. That's an important goal for me. It's a specific number in retirement accounts. And the way I came about that number, just to give you an idea, is... 6 million at a 4% earnings per year, which is fairly normal if you are in low risk index funds or something like that, municipal bonds, et cetera. 4% is a pretty standard rate at which money will appreciate over the years. At 4% equals $240,000 a year. $240,000 a year is my current salary. That's what I pay myself. I don't take all profits out of my business. That's a, uh, another topic for another time. I mean, I take distributions at the end of the year, but again, more complicated. But $240,000 a year passive income is kind of a good place where anybody could retire at, especially me. You know, I have a, I have a big family. I have a lot of dependents. And I don't necessarily have a super expensive lifestyle, but I do live in Malibu. So Malibu is fairly expensive city, $240,000 a year. That's my goal. That's how I've reached my idea of my goal. That gives me passive income for life. But you wanna get more specific in other areas as well. So, you know, and measurable, which meaning you wanna be making $1,000 a month, or maybe you want to be spending 
three hours a day working. You want to wake up every day at no earlier than 9 a.m. Get specific numbers attached to everything. Again, this is very important. Otherwise, it's just kind of in the ether. The next level is actionable. Now, some of the goals I talked about are grandiose goals. They're like lifestyle goals. And I think those goals are great. But for getting ahead in business, you want to actually have some goals that you take action on. What I mean by that is what are things you can affect? I cannot affect putting $6 million in my bank account. And money is the result of other stuff you do. So what is that specific stuff you can do which can affect obtaining your outcome? Well, an example is, for me, it was 25 people a day. When I started getting traction in my training course called Internet Jet Set, what I realized pretty quickly was that affiliates were flocking to promoting it because we had a very high converting funnel. And I said, maybe I can get more people marketing my program. So what I did was I did outreach, meaning I actually messaged them on Skype or Facebook, 25 people a day. I could affect that. That is something that is actionable. Money is not actionable. You can't just say, go out and get $1,000. But I knew that if I reached out to 25 people a day, that I would start getting more affiliates and more affiliates would mean more money. And over time, more affiliates of those affiliates, they would make money for themselves and for me. They'd just continue promoting my programs because we're all making money together. So over time, I'd create a snowball effect. We've paid out thousands of people over, I think at this point, we've paid out about $4 million to affiliates of my programs. We paid out $2.3 million last year alone. So that's really exciting. And it's created a win-win situation and a snowball effect that's just continued on and allowed me to get closer to my ultimate goal, which is $6 million in retirement accounts. Another example of how I use this an actionable goal is I've been looking to find a chief technical officer, a technical co-founder for my company. So once again, I've employed the same number, 25, and I'll message 25 potential candidates per day. I ask them all, you know, do you know anybody who's good for the position, right? I know they're good for the position, but I'm seeing if I'm giving them an out so they could either wave their hand or give me a referral. So that's allowed me to get much closer to my goal of finding a technical co-founder. My goal is a CTO, but you can't just get a CTO. You have to have an activity that can get you closer to that goal, just like money. You have to have actions. Maybe it's cold calling people. Maybe it's sending out messages, 25 messages a day, posting affiliate links, right? Another measurable, actionable goal I used to have for myself is one ad campaign a day. That's how I got big in affiliate marketing. I'd set up one new ad campaign every single day. It takes a little while to research a completely new niche or a completely new product or set up a completely new traffic source, write completely new ads, figure out completely new targeting, create completely new landing pages. I'd set a goal of one ad campaign a day. And over time, anytime I had a lull in marketing, meaning I wasn't making a lot of money, I would just grind out and I'd spend weeks and months if needed to just launch one new affiliate advertising campaign per day until I became successful, until I got an ROI that I could scale up. I've done that really for the last 10 years. I've always come back to that one advertising campaign a day. And that's got me to where I am. That's what's responsible for making me the bulk of my money. Now, the fourth part of SMART is relevant, okay? So the goals should be relevant. This goes without saying, everything I've mentioned so far is relevant, but if one of your activities is you should be having, I don't know, it's an irrelevant goal. I have a hard time measuring irrelevant goals, but maybe it's like taking out the trash. Again, if it's not relevant to what you're ultimately trying to achieve, which is, you know, maybe in your case, it's money, maybe it's something else, maybe it's girlfriends or boyfriends or whatever it is, it should be relevant. If you're trying to meet girls, then taking out the trash isn't necessarily a relevant goal. It might be nice to take out the trash, but that doesn't get you closer to meeting girls. 
that might help you after you meet a girl and they come back to your apartment or house or whatever, it's not necessarily going to help you meet girls. Again, it's actionable, it's measurable, it's specific, but it's not relevant to the ultimate goal that you're trying to achieve. So take a second, pause the video if you need, and just write down, you know, something that's, if you haven't already, something that's measurable, make your goals actionable, and make sure your goals are relevant to what you're trying to do. Now, the fifth part of writing down your goals, smart goal setting, is time-based. You won't get anywhere if it's not time-based. What time frame do you want to have whatever your number is by? In my case, it's 35, which I believe I'll beat. But whatever your case is, and 35 has been my goal for actually a while. I always said I want to be retired, fully retired, the ability to live off of passive income. Not that I ever necessarily want to stop working because what I'm doing at this point, I love so much. I don't talk much about my software company I'm building, or actually it's just super affiliate system, but I have a lot of crazy things that I dream up and uh, I want to make them real. So I actually really like what I'm doing right now. But the point being, I should be able to have passive income and retire if I want to. And early on, I said by the age of 35, that was the goal. And then I have the rest of my life to just do whatever the heck I want. So make it time-based though. If you're looking to earn, let's say it's $1,000 from online per month, what time frame are you looking to do that in? If you're starting from zero, give yourself some time. Maybe it's a year, maybe it's six months, whatever it is, it's going to affect how you do things. If it's within a week, well, I mean, if you want to make a thousand dollars within a week, you got to really hustle and it's going to change what you have to do to reach that goal. Again, don't make it unreasonable. I actually sometimes like to change this to be something that's reasonable as well, because making goals reasonable helps you achieve them. If, for instance, you only have $5,000 in the bank right now and you work at Jamba Juice, you work a minimum wage job and you say, I want to have $10 million in my bank account by next year, you're never going to be motivated to achieve that because it's too far of a stretch. You need to make a goal that's reasonable. Once again, that depends on everybody's situation. You need to make it time-based. If you're looking to get big in affiliate marketing, give yourself whatever it is, six months to get to that income level of, let's say, $1,000 a month or a week or a day. It's very possible, you know, to get big in affiliate marketing faster if you use paid advertising. And for those of you who haven't joined uh, my training course, Super Affiliate System, I'd highly suggest you use that. That'll help accelerate your success greatly as... I go over all the tricks of paid advertising, copywriting, data analysis, and we give you templates and a web domain and ad templates to help you go through the ad process. Okay, what used to take people about eight hours to launch an affiliate campaign, once again, about a day, it only takes about 10 minutes using our software. So I'd highly suggest join Super Affiliate System. We just launched a new course. Okay, so I hope that helps. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'm trying a different type of video. I understand many people won't like these videos because they're not money gun and, you know, like these, you know, make $100 a day sending message videos. But I believe while this may not be what you want, I believe this is what people need. And I am understanding that this is not going to be in favor of the YouTube algorithm. So please support me with a like a subscribe and comment. Let me know who you are, where you're coming from and what your thoughts are on this video. And I encourage you, write them down. And when I say write them down, the best form of writing is actually with a pen and paper. It'll help instill it in your memory more. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.